Hello, inner girls and the French girls. It's Dal. Welcome back to my kitchen this Friday, and it's almost Halloween, so I'll be serving you something festive, something spooky with jack o' lanterns, ghosts, UFOs. So let's get started. Let me show you the deck, and it could be around trick or treating for Gorgeis and Gorgeis right here. If you give him a grass energy, which is the really good candy, he gets 200 hit points. That's even more than almost every other EX out there. Mega level even. And horror note, the more trick or treats candies that you have in your hand, the better. And this will KO EX Pokemon. You will see those EX Pokemon get KO'd, especially in the last match. So now uh, just a little teaser there. Moving on, we have uh he's not a trick-or-treater. He gives out poison trees. So this is the guy's house that you don't want to go into. Triple poison, you take three damage counters every between turns, and that's 90 damage if they don't retreat their Pokemon. So it's really, really bad trees. So luckily, he's on our side, so it's okay when he's on our side. And you're gonna see something very funny in the very first pass with with this, but it's very cheap. Two colors, energies, and even one energy with a mention value, which I'll get to. So, finally, or two more Pokemons, we have our UFO. He's our best trick or treat Pokemon. He can even go in the first round, so he gets a head start and gives us two more cards. So, trick or treat, two more cards, and your hand is just gonna build up like crazy. Now, we have a very picky, picky card. We have Gengar. Now, his first attack, he'll, he'll give treats out to your opponent's bench Pokemon. Three damage counters, they're not gonna like it. But if the party's not good, he's gonna use Dark Corridor, in which he poisons the active Pokemon, deals 60 damage to them, and just goes back to the bench. Because the party's not that cool, but he's, he's gonna show that he doesn't like it and just run off. Now we have Mega Gengar. Okay, there's a deck box, there's a deck sleep, so he had to show up. And he only shows up if the party's fun. Phantom Gate, copy one of your opponent's attack. There are any good attacks to use then? Well, use it against them, and you don't have to pay the regular attack costs. You may have to pay extra costs, but you're gonna see he only what a good party means for Mega Gengar. Because if there's nothing good to use the attack with, why even use him? But he just had to be there. You just you know why? As I just told you. Now those are our main Pokemon. So let's go and talk about what's supporting this. I do not want to discard or reshuffle, so Tiano is going to be our main trick or treater. You play him, you get three more cards. Awesome trick or treater, better than Deoxys almost, but he's a supporter, so I guess he doesn't count. Now here we have the party pooper Birch. He's I only have one because sometimes you just have too much candy in your hand, you're going to deck out. So when that happens, just use Verse Seeker, grab Birch, and you may have a, a chance. It buys you more time if you. That, that, that comes and happens. Now we have Lysander. He's really bad for your opponent because he kidnaps people in Halloween and puts them into the active. But luckily he's on your side, so that's okay. Okay, but that, that, that's why he's there. Now I got some verse seekers to repeat my supporters, and I've got some trainer mails because 40 analysts is kind of bad. We need to repeat them by using trainer mails to grab them, using verse seekers to repeat them. There we go. Now we're. I'm also using roller skates, which will upgrade into the Tiernos, if they're heads, if tails, that's that stinks. But being outside of supporters, you can draw many cards. It's almost like shamans. Very cheap shamans. Very, very great potential. You're going to see that in a bit. And I have some great balls, not ultra balls, because I have to discard cards. And you know what? I'm not going to give away my candy. So this here is a cheaper alternative, and it's pretty good. It's a nice free alternative. Now, in case. I have to do this card for any reason because somebody likes to well, throw my energies away. I can use energy retrieval. Grab them back, and I'm good to go. Now we're almost done. I have some spirit links to help our Gengar if, if the party's good. If not, nah, just toss it out. Now, you know you're going to get more treats if you wear a lucky helm. So if you wear a lucky helm, people are giving you more candy. And that's how it works. You attack, something attacks my Pokemon with lucky helm, they get more candy. Yes, that's it. Now, I've got one double colors energy. It helps on most of my Pokemons and allows them to charge up a turn quicker. I have the Dimension Valley anyways. I prefer to use this because it doesn't count as an energy and the attack for one energy less and it helps all my Pokemon. And that, I think we're almost it, guys. Mystery energy. 
Mystery Energy gives my Psychic Pokemon two less retreats, so they can run more and trick or treat even more often. It, all my Pokemon actually will have a free retreat unless you're a, unless you're a Gorgais, otherwise then you have one retreat. Which because you know he's holding too much candy, he can he needs some help, and we're gonna use Escape Rope to help with that. Why not switches? Because it forces my opponent to switch to, which is not always a good thing, but it's more fun in the video. So that is it, guys, and. I was able to play some very awesome matches. You're gonna see them right now. So here, of course you are. Well, welcome to another Halloween match. We're gonna send out our. No, well, he's the guy who gives out tr treats, very poisonous treats. But well, here we go. He's gonna have, uh, be our first. I need a dimensional valley or a double cause energy to attack. So he may have a little slow start. So, all right. Bowl is gonna pick, and it is a Vespuque deck. Night March, I think this is the Night March. No, that is the Night March version. So that is the more dangerous kind. And gonna Ultra Ball for unknowns, but he threw out his Lapens because these things, their job is to go to discard. They're very happy because they just, well, they've done their job. Job well done, guys. You're in the discard as well as unknown. Yeah, we're gonna uh, Night March. This Combi. Man, my poison barely barely allows it to survive, but he's not gonna risk it. He's not he's gonna expect his Komi to go down. But let's go ahead and put an energy. Let's go ahead and use uh, Lucky Helm and Birch. Do you love me? Do you love me, Birch? Do you love me? He's like, no, I don't like you. But hey, there's a Dimensional Valley. Exactly what I needed. So he, he, he did hated me and he loved me at the same time because he got me the card I needed to poison this Komi. Is about to go. At the end of this turn, it's gonna go down, and if he, Jolte comes out, that's gonna be really funny. Oh, he needs uh, he needs to evolve his Vespa Queen really quickly. Can he evolve it? Oh, oh, it's gonna get knocked out, and I'm gonna get to finish this. Wow, wow! Oh. I was just gonna poison it, and I just won the game right there. <laughs> so here, oh, welcome to another Halloween match. Let's. Let's set out Deoxys, because he's going to fish us for more cards. So, Deoxys is out, and let's see how it goes. He says, yay, I'm going to be famous. Okay, so, yep, these these definitely should be on the bench. So, let's see what we got. Oh, Pumpkaboo, and, and what the, oh, this is a Night March deck. So, let's go ahead and check these skates out. Will you evolve to Tiano? It has evolved into Tiano. It's three more cards with the Tiano, six more cards. And let's go ahead and use roller skates. Come on, give me nine cards, nine cards, nine cards, nine card draws. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, fortunately, fortunately, let's let's let's, let's um. There's no dimensional valley. I'm gonna put an energy on. Let's. Ooh, this thing. Oh, luckily this thing cannot confuse. Unlike my pumpkaboo, my pumpkaboo can confuse. It's much cooler. And I think that's is all. We're going to use Close Encounter, get some uh, more cards. Nice giant nine card draw hands in the beginning. So, come on. Night March, uh oh, Battle Compressor. We're gonna see Night March cards go down. Is gonna be Lapet, the most useless of the Night March cards. So, three of them coming. And, oh, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna have to quickly charge up Gorgice, because I, I don't think a poison is a is gonna be appropriate for this. So there we go. These poor lapens going down. It's like ah, uh, our job is to go into this card shop. We did our job, and they're gonna be chill here and wait for the wait for their team to catch up. So I need to take the offensive really quickly. I may. Are you weak to? No, you're not weak to. He's not. I'm thinking about attacking with the oxes, but I can't one shot it. I'm gonna have to two shot it. All right, we got some combies. Sycamore, it is a race. It is a race, guys. Oh, okay. And Bunnelby is coming out. Oh, Gengar. Oh, well, we're using nearly the same Pokemon. Oh my gosh, he charged. He used the Dimensional Valley for me, so I can use that. I'm weak to Psychic though, so he's gonna KO me on the on the first turn. Okay. So we got anything for that? Do we have anything to retaliate against this? Yes, we do. We're gonna send out Pumpkaboo. And we are going to use an escape rope. So, goodbye evil big pumpkaboo. I'm going to send I'm going to send my toxic rope out and he's going to get a, pretty much a free. He'll need one energy to use a po poison. So come on. 
send anything out. Anything out you like? Oh, you're gonna send the Gengar out. Okay, well, in that case, well, I guess the Gengar can get a quick retreat. So let's go ahead and use Tiano again. And let's use some roller skates. Come on. They've been heads, so this one's gonna be tails, unless they're all heads, which is awesome. Us, really awesome. So let's go ahead. You need an energy to attack. So I'm gonna put an energy on you. And let's go ahead and just put the oxes down. 20, I got half my deck so far. All right, poison you. There we go. Take some damage, take some damage. Yeah, yeah. And it's poison is gonna burn pretty quickly. If he does not retreat this, he's taking nine damage. That's half his life. He needs two energies to retreat and there's no way he can actually attack this turn. So, all right, P Pokemon fan club, all his bench Pokemon's, all his bench base is filled up and unknown is, well, unknown's gonna go, so he's gonna, there. Unless he plays Sycamore and discards those, or an Ultra Ball, because he needs to do that. And hopefully I can get my Gorgeist up and running. Yeah, yeah, I just need one, attach one energy, and then I'm good, I'm good. Oh, he's attacking, he's attacking my poor Pumpkaboo. And is there anything I can do? That's the Gorgeist that I'm gonna power up. So let's put an energy, at, let's turn into Gorgeist. And I haven't played a, I haven't played a Tierno yet. So I'm gonna bring out Tiano, and let's see. When when this guy comes out, he's gonna one shot my one shot my toxic girl. I'm gonna try to take advantage of that by putting this here. All right, three heads on the last skates. This is tails. I well, that's just that's just how it goes, man. I knew it. I knew it. And looking at my hand, there's no reason. I don't think there's no reason for me to copy any of these cards because it's it's all bad. So let's go ahead and we'll just. We'll just use triple poison again. You poison some more. So if it's not retreat, this Gengar is going to get knocked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then I guess maybe I can retreat my Toxic Rope. Uh-oh, an Ultra Ball discarding those Pumpkaboos. For what? A Vespa Queen. Vespa Queen is definitely going to be here. Because he is not... He would have played it. So I know Vespa Queen is going to be here. Oh, it's going to be a Pumpkaboo. Oh, nope. He's just going to discard those Birch goes in there. Of course Birch is going to go into the discard pile. So now he can try, I guess, snipe off this Pumpkaboo, soften something, and we're just gonna have to trade. So, well, let's, let's get this going. I'm gonna have to try and charge up another second Gorgeist, and hopefully this trades out. Up, oh, you're gonna switch, and Pumpkaboo's gonna come out for some revenge. There we go, instant KO. Out takes some more cards, and he's halfway, he's halfway there. So let's send out this Gorgeist, and I'm gonna attach an energy onto you. Let's go ahead and get another Gorgeist going. And let's go ahead and put a Lucky Helm. Great ball, great ball. There's nothing I really need at this point. Let's go ahead and just use Horn Note. 130 damage, but that's enough to KO you. So one prize card, unfortunately. And we'll see. He needs double colors energies to keep fighting. I only see one, so I think he's going to be able to keep on going. Night March cards. How many cards? I have 170 hit points. Can you knock me out? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 140 damage, 120 damage, unless he's got more tricks up his sleeve. 140 damage right there, so I will survive. I'm going to have to quickly charge another Gorgeist going, and, okay, I probably need that Great Ball. Let's go ahead and TNO again, guys. I'm getting low, well, I'm almost running out of cards. TNO. Okay, I got another Gork guys. I got another Pumpkaboo. Let's go ahead and not throw the Pumpkaboo down. I'm just gonna keep on my power. And we're going to use Horror Note. Wait, wait, that didn't work. Oh, I'm just lagging. I'm just lagging, guys. So it's pause. Wait. Yep, is it? Yep. I am paused. I cannot do anything. So, when this lag. Oh, there we go. 180 damage. Goodbye. So, wow. Gengar is gonna come up. And it's gonna do the final damage. And he's gonna use his time to charge up one of his Pokemons. 30, 30. Aw, oh, that is unfortunate. There we go. Gorgeist is knocked out. And luckily, another one's ready to go. So, Gorgeist, you are gonna come out. And we need to get you we need to get a grass energy on you. So let me get some of those energies back. There we go. Ball of you into Gorgeist. And I'm going to put a grass energy. And you're good to go, man. I'm thinking about no, there's nothing to, there's nothing to think about. Let's go ahead and just knock you out. And 190 damage. He says I have not pulled a single energy. Maybe his entire deck is all double colorless. Which is the weakness. 
of this deck, which is my my nightmare my nightmare Fest with Queen version alt has energies, lots of fairy energies. So he's bad luck, and I'm just gonna just put a sad face right there. That's not a sad face. I typed it wrong, but you just need more ways to hand, add more double colors energies, and that goes. So here we go. Let's see. It is Joltik. Joltik's come out, and if he's go play Sycamore, he's just gonna fish for those double colors and energies. Eight cards left. He's probably gonna have one of these double colors energies, but Gorgais is gonna survive. Look at the hit points. There's that double colors energy. Only four of them, 170 damage, but Gorgais is way too tanky to, to go down. Let's go ahead and get the next Gorgais going. Here we go. And I am going to go ahead and just save my hand. 11 cards. I'm looking at anything else I need to play. Technically, no. So, I'm going to use Horn Note. 200 damage. And, alright, another Gorgais, another Pumpkaboo. Ward... One more prize card to go, and if I drop this EX Pokemon down, he could lay Xander and potentially knock it out, but it's not gonna happen. So another best we gotta go. Does he have this final double colors energy? He has he's used two. Three, so he has one more energy to attack with. You probably need more cards to need more energies than just those. So it, it, it may be in this last section of his deck, it may be in his prize cards. He's gonna play Sycamore, and that's gonna draw his entire deck out to get the double colors energy, unless it's in his prize. Oh my gosh! Only had three energies to fight. There's one grass energy, and he is out of cards. He is out of cards, so. Oh wow, that, that's a strange finisher. And he's going to retreat for a Gengar, but there's no more cards in this deck left. Wow. So, I've, wow, this he can knock out this Gore, guys. This Gengar twice in a row. But either way, I, I can win by knocking it out. I am think I'm going to do that. GG. Yep, he says GG, so I'm going to say GG back. GG. And that's it. We're going to use Horn Note. Uh, 210 damage. Hey yo, this EX gang. <laughs> Whoa, got it. Welcome to the Halloween match. Now, my psychic powers tell me that it's tails. It's gonna be tails, right? Yes, this is gonna definitely tails. I knew that all along. Okay, well, let's get on to it and let's see. I've got Pumpkaboo ready to. Well, Pumpkaboo is the only thing that can go out. Mm, Alright, and. I hope I get a draw supporter, because where's Tierno? Actually, T I think Tierno is my only draw supporter. Yikes. Well, all right, let's get to it. And Pumpkaboo's out. It can evolve to Gorgais. Let's see what's in the trading mail. What's in the... Oh, escape rope. Well, I guess I'll take that. And, okay, let's go ahead and attach an energy. And this Jarzar is going to be confused. But, well, let's see if there's a Gengar. Let's see if there's a Gengar here. Is there a Gengar here? Nope, there's another Gorgais. I'm just going to go ahead and take it. And that's gonna be it. Well, in my turn. Now, I can go ahead and confuse it, and if it tries to attack, it well, may not even work, and it does a little bit of damage. So, even though this thing is just a 60 HP Pokemon, it's dangerous. And it's gonna be more dangerous when it becomes score guys. So, hopefully, I draw the cards that I need. So, Jarzar's looking at this Bumpkaboo, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna destroy you. I do 120 damage, just let me get this four energies up. You know, it could stoke itself, and then that 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 could be really bad. It'd be overkill. But all right, so we have Pokemon League champion Steven. He's gonna get her or him a energy and a support card. Wally, and a fire energy, of course. So fire energy is gonna try to stoke up for four energies, and it's gonna be really bad when uh when it evolves. Oh no, not it was head. So he's gonna get four energies into Charizard. Yeah, that, that's looking real bad. I'm thinking about using an escape rope, guys. But let's see what's in these roller skates. Or up, let's upgrade them to Tiernos. That does not work. Okay. I can force a switch. Or I can just confuse Ray this thing. But you know, a switch may be easier, easier for me to handle it. So he's going to send out Ponyta. And I'm going to go and confuse this Ponyta. 
just for the heck of it. So Pumpkaboo's poor Pumpkaboo's hanging on for its life, and well, there's a bean char started back. It's going to evolve. What is the retreat cost of this free? Oh, it's just gonna retreat. Send out Charizard, and that that that. That's it. Still here. Oh, welcome to another Halloween match. Now, the FC is gonna start up front and gonna trick or treat for us if he gets some uh, energy. Like he needs uh, he needs some uh, snacks first. So, oh dear. It is Rayquaza, but luckily, I'm not an EX Pokemon. The FC. Oh, he's got a red card already. Okay, that's like a free shot for me. But I. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm gonna start with a little bit less cards, I suppose. Hoopa, Hoopa Quaza. Please roll this case, please work, please work. So red card would have been more dangerous to me at the later end, but not this part. Oh my gosh. Tons of EX Pokemon's going down, so we can get three of those. We're good. And what is it? This thing's weak to Psychic. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, and these things are really good against my Pokemon. So, he needs an energy, I guess, then we can't really attack. And I guess Malamar's gonna be his Pokemon. Gonna put me asleep. That is annoying. But you know what? I can pretty much escape, bro. Put this Deoxys down, and we're good. We just really, really need this to be heads. Oh gosh, Mega Rayquaza is out. Mega Rayquaza is out, and he charged up his Malamar instead. Shauna, oh man. I'm, I feel like I'm outclassed, guys. A Spear Link on the front one. He didn't evolve the. Okay. I woke up. I'm good. I'm good. It's all gonna work out. Totally, totally. All right, roller skates, heads, heads, heads. Give me an energy, or an energy-like item. How about this? One roller skate works. So how about the next one? Give me a Tierno. No. How about how about this? Give me an en oh that Tierno. Tierno, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now please give me more skates or more energy. Okay, energy. That's fine. Alrighty. So all I'm gonna do is just. Put Gengar down because I may have to use Gengar, and we're gonna use Close Encounter with the third kind. Yeah, there we go. We we can need more energies, but Gore guys can set up as well as oh Gengar. If I get Mega Gengar out, which would be really good in this deck, get Lysander. I guess he's gonna go fish for my 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 Gengars pretty soon. So come on, up. Oh, he's still charging up his Malmark. Gonna try to put me asleep, but I still gotta escape rope guys. Right now, it's not dangerous. He still has support to use the switch. There's that switch. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's aggressive. I'm definitely gonna use escape breath. Do not be two heads. Do not be two heads. Do not be okay. One head is okay. One head is okay. One head is okay, guys. So he used the switch and he woke up. So we're gonna throw this out. I'm gonna charge up my Gorgeist. And we are going to use the escape rope. So, yes, I'm gonna escape back. I'm gonna escape back. Who are you gonna send out? Who are you gonna send out? Yep. You got it. Now he has to switch again. All his energies have been on Malamar. He's like, uh, I guess I'll send Veltal out. Okay, I'll send the Oxus out. I've charged up the wrong Pokemon because now I can't actually attack. That was a little too too early. All right. So just buying time. Hopefully, hopefully I can get some more cards. But this, this, all EX cards. Man, got a Lysander. Gengar. Gengar. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and put a Dimensional Valley down. And, uh... I guess I'll charge my Gengar up while I start attacking you. So, here we go. I'm gonna attack your Shaman. Die, Shaman! Have three damage counters on you. Now, I do not... There's no way you can... He has to retreat and send Malamar out. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get free, free attacks. I, now, the reason I've charged him up is because I, I want to use I want to use Dark Corridor. And it looks like he's charging this guy up. Mm. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw you out. I still need like one more energy, so we're just going to keep attacking on this Shaman. It's two more attacks. Two more attacks. So let's see if he's able to do anything about that. Because I'm stuck, guys. I'm stuck. Channel is, channel is avoiding me. Verse Seeker Pokemon Fan Club? He's already out of bench space unless he discards this, which is in the, I am in a bad position. I'm already in a bad position because I'm not drawing anything. So, we're both sort of stuck. I'm just gonna keep using the night attack on you. One more, and I'm just gonna get a free free card. 
I would prefer you two prize cards, and hopefully that's gonna give me some some cards I need. So, all right, this is uh oh. Now he's all he's now he's getting desperate. He's gonna have to send uh, Lysander. Oh, it's a Shauna. I would have. Well, maybe I would have Lysander, but I guess his hand is not drawing all the right cards, just like me. Except he's got a better setup. There we go. Got the Sky Field, and I guess he can put his bench stuff down. And I would discard it. Oh, there's that switch. Lucky. Lucky, but what are you going to switch into? Oh, Malamar, of course. So Malamar would need two heads to knock me out. Switch. Oh, so that is a vulnerability. Lysander is going to be very good. Come on, Tails, please. Do not be two heads. Do not be two heads. Okay. I can survive that. I can dig that. I can dig. <laughs> okay. We're going to drag out this... We're gonna drag out this Hoopa, and we're gonna use Night Attack. Woo! It looks like he is very weak to Lysander's. I have all of them in my hand. And this is going good. Man, if you can go Mega and take advantage of the situation, it'd be awesome. So, how many more switches you got? How many more switches do you have? Sycamore, and I'll start to in something. Oh, he's gonna pay. He paid that for the retreat. Gonna send Malmar out. Oh, man. I've... I've got more stuff, but I'm definitely gonna send this Deoxys now to fish me more cards. Heads, I'm already gone. Two heads, that's great. So, let's go ahead and just abuse his weakness. I know he's weak to this. So, we are gonna go yet again pull out this Hoopa. And while that happens, I'm going to... Let's see, how many energies is down there? Just only one? Come on, roller skates. Give me something I need. Give me something I need. It's heads. Perfect. I need energies. Those aren't energies. Come on, upgrade yourselves to TNL. TNL is not, not working. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw my Gengar down. So I can maybe make it go Mega. Let's go ahead and evolve this Pumpkaboo. I don't want nothing to happen to this Pumpkaboo. And we're going to go and grab more cards. So he's very... He's burning up his double colors. He's burning up his switches. And he's just going to keep on charging up this Malamar. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure how I'm hanging up on this. But I just am. Okay. Trainer Mail. Is it a switch? He's looking for another switch. Because this thing is stuck up there. Lysander. Oh, I guess we'll have an escape rope. Or he can pull pull, pull you out. Sure. I'll, I'll, keep, I'll, I'll do the same thing I was doing again. Ultra Ball, what you want? A Shaman, you want a Shaman, right? <laughs> Man, he's okay, close to that. So, yeah. he pulled Inke. Let's go ahead, Tierno. And, oh, an energy. Uh, look, I'm gonna go ahead and put this energy onto Gengar, and we're gonna go start sniping off his Pokemons. Well, I can go Mega Gengar. I can go Mega Gengar, and I have Lysander. And I could Lysander something. I, I know I can get this Hoopa really easily. You know what? There's I can't. There's this is not the right turn to go Mega. So let's go ahead and just attack attack this Inke. One more hit, you're gone, and he is stuck because he has no way to manage his retreat. He's evolved it to Malmar, and he needs to retreat. He needs to retreat, and he needs to get two heads to actually land a kill on. Kill on my Gengar. Oh no, Veltal is coming up. Mino, maybe I'm able to use the Sky Field against him. He's gonna use Verse Seeker again for Steven. Steven? No, Shauna, I guess he's low in energies. Okay. So, Steven, AZ. Oh, there's the retreat that he needs. There's the retreat that he needs. There's the retreat that he needs. Okay. So, we're gonna go and grab Tiano again. Because I need more cards. We're gonna take the offensive guys. So let's not let him let's not let him I'll give you the retreat, but I'm gonna get the first attack on you. So come on. Send your Malamar out. No, you're gonna send your Rayquaza out. I'll send this guy out. And I'll just put an energy on you. And that's all I did I there's only one energy in here. There's nothing really I can do much more guys. Oh, I'm missing a stadium. So I'm gonna have just have to retreat. Like, oh, I have. I messed it up. I forgot I did not have my stadium. So I'm gonna have to send the oxes out and pull out more cards. Yep. Wonder why I don't have my lucky helms. 
So Rick Mega Rayquaza is now out. It can never treat. Oh, it's fully charged up. Oh dear. Oh dear. 180 damage. There it goes. Who am I gonna send out? I'm gonna have to send out Gorgeist. I'm gonna have to send out Gorgeist. And we need to UTRNO. You need to give me that stadium. Goodbye, stadium. So he's gonna have to well, I guess discard his belt. Or no, he's gonna discard his hoopa. That's better. For him. And that means that I have enough hit points to survive a Mega Rayquaza. Ooh, a Spirit Link and a Mega Gengar. Awesome. We may get be able to see Mega Gengar this time, guys. And yeah, I think that's all I need. That's that's really all I need. So we're gonna use Horror Note, 120 damage. There was no way I could have one shot it. But I can two shot it. Or Mega Gengar can come up and finish it off. Discard my Skyfield, that that stinks. Wow, it was a regular Rayquaza. How are we gonna even attack with this? Well, I guess it could evolve into a Mega Rayquaza. So now it does 180 damage. He needs one more bench space to knock me out. And luckily, guys, you survive a Mega Rayquaza. You're awesome. Oh, more cards for me, and you know, I may. I may get Gengar up, or I may just charge up another Gorgeist. So let's go ahead and charge up another Gorgeist. Yep. And yeah, I think this is enough to KO it. So we are going to... Oh, oh, I have to get rid of this stadium. So let's get rid of this stadium. And I think this is enough to KO it. So he has this card. Another card, Veltal. And here we go. Horror Note, 120 damage again. Bye-bye, Mega Rayquaza. Oh yes, one more of your EX Pokemons and I'm good. So he's gonna send out something. He's gonna send out something, of course. So 120 damage so far. He needs just one heads to get me. He needs one heads just to get me. I'm not sure if I have... Let's see, Mega Gengar can copy one of his attacks. What? You're gonna... You're gonna use Lysander? For who? Okay, it's hit, Tails. It is tails. It's gonna be three. Oh, I thought I was surviving. So there we go. I need two prize cards to win. Can Mega Gengar copy an attack and win? It can't really copy Dragon Strike. I guess it could use Emerald Break, but it's not gonna be enough to snipe off any of his Pokemon's. Six energies between us. Six energies, seven, seven. So seven, that's still not gonna up. It's just all gonna be up to Gorgeist, guys. It's all up to this Gorgeist. So let's go ahead and yet again use Tiano. Yep, I'm gonna grab out my Tiano. Give me some more cards, give me some more cards. Let's go ahead. Where is my energy retrieval? There we go, energy retrieval. Gonna get me more cards. This is the biggest hand I can muster. I need one more energy to attack. And here we go. Is this gonna be enough? <gasps> Barely enough. KO. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Of course you did. I hope you enjoyed the matches. And my thoughts on this deck. It's a festive Halloween deck. And if I had to be mean, pick it apart, I would say Mega Gengar wasn't as great. I didn't run into anything I could copy nice attacks with at the end there was but you saw Gorgeist have to do better I had the choice to use it Gorgeist was the one that got me to win it's just more consistent not KOing your Pokemon's or your opponent's Pokemon over and over and over so there's that and there's reshuffles like a red card maybe an ace trainer those things would slow you down you can bounce back I have done that in the last Gorgeist video but it's just a pain. So those are two things to look out for. And now, if you left me a comment on the Wednesday video, I'm gonna rate them right now. So here we go, Alchemy. You said, after watching all these fights with fighting decks, how well does Metacham Evolution do? Metacham does not, its attack does not benefit from Evolution. So I would I would actually go with Machamp because you actually need to shrine a memory to use Metatite's attack and that's too complicated. And you can see that. Now, Crazy Lou. Oh my gosh, I didn't know I could eat that Eevee in turn one. It's awesome, but Eevee wasn't really that strong. But having that, I was supposed to first turn advantage is great anyhow. So, there we go. And thank you, Crazy. Uh, your name, that it is. And Tame, uh, Tim Hud. Third person you played was a, he was a jerk. He was just happy. He was just happy. So, that's just that. 
Yeah, well, thank you very much, Tim. And Jacob, what of all four gold orcs were prized? That would be very sad. Very, very sad. I guess those EVs would be very lonely without Rainbow Man. And Ben Capitan, I know I'm not the only one who commented, but the opponent was disrespectful. Maybe a little, but he was just happy. He was just happy that things were just going his way, you know. So I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't hit, blow down the hammer. It was, I mean, it was just good. It was just a stroke of good luck. And Mike, man, I love girl. Such a powerful Pokemon, hitting him for five weakness as was and blacksmith. You got it, man. You got it. And thank you, Mike. Yeah, Dimensional Valley. That that is the card for it, but. This, this version, you get more constant card flows. It's just cooler this way. Yeah, thanks always, Mike. And Vibes Artex, that DC of the stadium was so much. Oh man, I was crying tears of joy. That is true. And Mark Elliott, really liked this deck. We'll be trying it out. Hope you have fun with that, man. And Pedro, Ignacio, why not use Dimensional Valley? You only need three energies for attack. And I wanted to help with the synergy with Blacksmith and just get me more cards nicer card flows it's more stable that way although one maybe one dimension of value worse work and turtle park choir rare candy does work with toga kisses that's right but not wally from last videos that's right but you don't really need you could just use you could just use a toga bee because it has the delta evolution anyways so uh, there's that and let's see sean rawls if if he counts as fighting, why not add rising energy? I think you mean strong energy. It just, I like the fire energies for the combination with blacksmith and the stadium. So if you pull a rising energy, it will be okay, but he didn't need the damage at that point at all. He was KOing everything. Then again, he was going against Lucario, but still 120 to 240 damage. It, it, you don't need that many much more. And thank you, Sean. Patrick, I don't know if it's a glitch, but you don't need hard charm because if it's double type, you can actually get recoil from the firing resistance. He doesn't, but everything else wouldn't wouldn't have really helped. Like a muscle band, he was KOing everything. I could have got flip coin, but like you said, because his weakness and resistance thing, nope. And he didn't seem to get KO as easily, so uh, focus ash wasn't really there. So what else you got? Heart charm. And thank you, Patrick. Zentaxio, I think you can use strong energy and Golur. But he was KOing everything, and so that's why I didn't really need it. But it would help. Hmm, okay. And thank you, Zentax, Zetax, and Alex Hollingsworth. Yes, ever since Origin Origins, I've been waiting for you to do this. Everyone else was doing it, so I was like, gotta go in a different direction. And so at the very end, here it is. Thank you, Alex. Webmu, that third person. Mm, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you, Wamu and Reclusive Slowbro. Very nice synergy with Flareon. Oh, I thought that great video. Don't let Pete's. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. No, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad, guys. Eh. And Zai Garcia, I. It's easy from the shout out. Thanks. Nice video. Oh, nice to see you, man. And you should try Gengar Wobbuffet. All right. No. Uh, I got. How would that work? We'll see. He might. That might actually make it good when Floatstone's back. And Evie, you want anyways though? Yep. Uh, I think he meant something else. But yes. And Michael Fitzpatrick, I've been playing this deck for at least last month or so. I haven't gone back. Oh yes. Thank you, Michael. Deanne Rawson. New set comes out with Gengar Greninja. Archie's new Gengar Creep Show. Oh man, I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that. Thank you, Deanne Ralston. And Oscar Semitian. There's that Golark. I've been waiting for so strong of Pokemon. Great against EX matchups. Yes, got definitely against that. Evan the Ensign, would it be useful to play as Focus Ash and Golarks? I never got one shot at in the video and in other matches. It was just why it didn't 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 seem to help. Yeah, thank you, Evan. Ares Fire Tiger, nice deck. Please define integrals and differentials. And of course, the area is a curve, the front is a slope of curve. Got it. And Vince De Fiera. Unfortunate that most matches with Lu were with Lucario. I don't know. It just all happened to turn out that way, so I just put it all in. It never ever happens. 
But when it does happen, you definitely got to see that. And thank you, Doe Dragon. Great deck as always. Thank you. And Lightning Gamer, thanks for reading my comment. You got it, man. All right. So leave me a comment this video. I'll answer it Monday. And for Monday's deck, I you know with XY break coming out soon, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I'm sure to surprise you. So, all right. Thank you. And the girls and the I'll see you Monday. Bye-bye.